Hey guys, what's up? Jason's here. Today, we will learn how to configure IP Auto Defense for Asterisk PBX. As we are concerned, top fraud and malicious attacks from hackers via the internet are always threats for us, causing our business loss. In most cases, hackers tend to attack the system by sending packets at a high-speed rate to several ports of the PBX. But with our security mechanism, we can set up IP audit defense to detect this kind of attack and list those hosts to the blacklist. Afterwards, any packets sent from them will be dropped directly by the PBX, so as a result, their attack will fail to work. To make IP auto defense work, we need to create rules in advance. Actually, rules created in IP auto defense limits the maximum rate of packet transmission to some ports. So once hosts from the internet send packets over speed, they will be blocked. Alright, enough talking. Now, let's jump in and check it out. Go to security and find IP auto defense. By default, there have been three rules generated, two for 5060, the default port for SIP registration, one for 8022, the default port for SSH. In many cases, hackers will attack the 5060 by registering repeatedly to SIP extension or our SIP trunks, and repeatedly sending unauthorized SIP call requests or attack the 8022 to invade our system. Taking that into consideration, we've listed the three rules to secure the system. First, let's see the two rules for 5060. In the first rule, the maximum rate of packet transmission is 120 in a minute, while in the second rule, it's 40 in 2 seconds. No matter hackers intend to send lots of packets in a minute or in 2 seconds, both attacks will be detected. Here, you may wondering why do we need to set two rules in advance. Actually, these two rules will protect the system from two kinds of attack, either slow attack by sending lots of packets in a long period, or explosive attack by sending a large number of packets in a very short time. Well, as for the last rule for port 8022, the maximum rate is 10 in a minute. As we recommend, it's better to keep the default three rules and not customize the rate. If you do want to edit the rate, please contact our technical support team and change it under the instructions. Apart from three default rules, you can also add new rules for other ports if necessary. Click on Add, enter a specific port or a port range here. Choose the transmission protocol, UDP or TCP. Then, customize the permitted maximum rate. For example, if we set number of IP packets to 90 and time interval to 60, the PBX will block the IP that sends more than 90 IP packets in 60 seconds. Once any IP is blocked, it will be listed here in blocked IP address. If a trusted IP address happened to be blocked by mistake, it's easy to fix that, delete that corresponding record, and then the host is able to communicate with PBX normally. IP Auto Defense, as a part of security mechanism, usually works together with firewall. Except those hosts added to the firewall rules as accepted type, others that try to send data packets to PBX will be monitored by IP Auto Defense. These features help to realize multi-level protection. If you want to learn more about firewall configuration, please check the video in our channel. Besides, whenever an IP is blocked by the system, since it's an emergent event, the admin is supposed to be notified timely and check the log. We simply need to go to the event center and enable record and notification for the event network attacked. Then, the added contact will get notified the instant when any IP is blocked. Alright guys, that was how IP Auto Defense works on our S-Series PBX. Thanks for watching, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us if you have any questions. Leave us your comment down below here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one.